You know, I thought that Samsung was done copying Apple, but it seems that might change a bit again. Because yes, we have some new renders of the Galaxy Note 20, which shows us a very familiar design change. It looks like the new Moto Razr will bring some spec bumps, but not as much as we thought. And Apple might bring some health changes to the AirPods in the near future. I'm Jaime Rivera, and on Memorial Day, let us all honor the fallen heroes who gave their lives to serve our country. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by MediaTek. Stick around to learn why you should pick MediaTek for your next device purchase. The official news today begin with deals, yes. Memorial Day is pretty much almost over, or pretty much it is by the time you watch this video, but still, there are some good deals out there that we assume will be extended for a bit. For example, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is still $200 off, and this is the Intel Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gigs of storage variant, leaving it at $2,200. The Surface Pro 7 is also $200 off, leaving it at $999, and this is for the Intel Core i5 variant. And then the Samsung Galaxy A51 is $106 off, leaving it at $294. And then we have more deals on AirPods, iPads, Samsung phones, and others in the links in the description. Now let's talk about Sony. I didn't think I was going to talk about this company again when it came to smartphones, but they've made a little fanfare with that Xperia 1 Mark II that they announced, what, three months ago? The phone is sort of available. I Bear with me. See, Sony has set pre-orders to start on June 1st, with shipments beginning until July 24th. I don't know who's going to want to wait that long, but hey, it packs a 6.5-inch 4K OLED display at 90Hz refresh rate, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, a 4,000mAh battery, and three 12-megapixel cameras. The only thing that this phone will also cost 1200 bucks for the unlocked variant? And sure, Sony is giving away a pair of WF-1000 Mark III's to sweeten the deal for you, but guys, I mean, I, I tried the Xperia 1, if you remember, that's one of those phones that I didn't review for a couple of reasons. I have it there. It was just so underwhelming in so many ways, and it's just such an irony for a company that builds the camera sensors for most of the smartphones that you love today, so why get that wrong? Let's see if the Mark II gets a couple of things right. Now, speaking of truly wireless earbuds, let's talk OnePlus as we've been discussing the possibility that they're coming up with something and we get more details today. Now, the same source has shared a new sketch of the buds, which still looks like a combination of the regular AirPods with the Pixel Buds case, or if you think about it, it could be the Huawei Free Buds, and they're reportedly going to be called the OnePlus Buds. And they're expected to have support for touch controls, the Google Assistant, fast pairing with OnePlus phones, obviously. Obviously. But that's pretty much it. We are expecting a possible launch sometime in end of June, July, hopefully. Um, and hopefully we also get that OnePlus Z as well. And fine, let's talk about the king of true wireless earbuds since we've been discussing about this. Now with Apple's future AirPods, we've been covering the possibility of getting a refresh, but then we hear that that's going to be delayed probably until next year because obviously the economy is not doing well and it might be a good idea to just hold on to things as currently AirPods Pro are actually very legitly good as much as I would also say that I hate the first generation AirPods and the second. But anyways, according to a new Digitimes report, Apple has a roped-in ASE technology to supply components to add ambient light sensors for health monitoring duties. These light sensors would pass light through your skin to check blood movement in the vessels to detect your heart rate and any other data. Now, apparently we will have to wait up to a year or two for this to happen, and it would require a complete redesign of AirPods. But you know what other company has already done this years ago and actually stopped doing it because of how big the buds became? Jabra. They've been doing it for a bit. Let's see if Apple does anything better here. Now, a device that I want to get excited about, but I probably shouldn't, but I hopefully should, or let's just see exactly what we get, is obviously that successor to the Moto Razr that's supposed to be what the original Moto Razr was always supposed to be. And I said supposedly twice, but anyways. I mean, we saw last week uh, that Lenovo South African GM leaked the Motorola device that's coming, uh, but now we get more details. Apparently the new specifications, according to XDA developers, include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G SoC, which is certainly an upgrade to the 710 we got with the original Razer. It also packs eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. It'll bring a 2845 milliamp hour battery, as well as a 48 megapixel main camera and a 20 
megapixel selfie shooter. It's also expected to bring 5G because of this new SoC, but the problem is that's a small battery. So I don't think that that's going to be a good combination for the Razer, but hey, if they can figure that out, fine. Apparently we're gonna get it in September. Let's hope that they actually, I mean, even if they keep the price, let's just get a good phone. And friends, before we get to the hottest news, here's a word from today's sponsor, MediaTek. Did you know that its technology powers the Amazon Echo Dot? This is Amazon's most popular smart speaker, which fits perfectly in small places and brings improved speaker quality. Ask Alexa to stream songs from Amazon Music, Spotify, Sirius XM, and others. You can also set alarms, control your smart home, and more. It includes MediaTek's far field communication technology, so you can whisper to it from a distance. You can currently find it on sale for $29.99 in the link in the description below and also follow the second link to learn why brands like Amazon choose MediaTek. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, uh, Note 20 Plus, uh, probably an Ultra, we're not exactly sure, but we keep getting more renders and well, let's just say that it gets more interesting and also, I don't know. I don't know if I should be worried. Right now we have some new renders that uh, actually come from OnLeaks this time. They're slightly different than the ones we got in the past, but also they do include some of the same elements. According to the leaks, this phone will bring a 6.9 inch AMOLED display with a centered punch hole, we covered that. And now at the back, we have a huge camera hump that might actually be bigger than the one on the S20 Ultra. Let's hope that's not the case. We have three lenses that kind of remind us of the iPhone 11 with that lineup and the rings around the camera, as well as the time of flight sensor. And apparently we also get to see that periscopic zoom lens, but it's not clear if it'll have 100X capabilities as the S20 Ultra did, even if those weren't really truly capabilities. That was terrible. Now the leaks also retain the changes of moving the buttons to the other side, which is a welcome change. I think that's gonna be great for us right-handed people but anyways, let us know in the comments down below. What do you think about this camera hump? Do you like the design or not? Because yes, it does look a lot like what Apple did with the iPhone. And then also Motorola pretty much did it with the Edge Plus. Hey, Apple pulled off a really nice design. So if Samsung wants to bring it, it's fine. I mean, I don't care if they get sued or not. That's their problem. But the thing about it is... I like the design and I like the fact that apparently the company is giving us a slightly larger display on the same footprint, meaning the bezels are getting even smaller. So I'm excited, but we would love to know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social media so our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me stay at home. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.